now we're moving on to WrestleMania 23. Yep. One of the uh, streak matches, The Undertaker versus yep. Batista. This took place in uh, the post-apocalyptic ruin that is Detroit, Michigan. Yes. Ford Field. Really big venue. They, they claimed attendance of like 80,000. Which is interesting because the, the last few WrestleManias before this were at much smaller venues. They attendance of like 20,000 or so generally. Hmm. Well, it's Detroit. You know. Maybe they didn't have as uh, a bunch of other things for them to do. It happened uh, April 1st, 2007. I said before, you should yep. not have like major events on April 1st. No. <laughs> Fake WrestleMania and then a real WrestleMania. Yeah, they, yeah, they lure every they lure everyone in and then it's just. It's like... Imagine the Sarrells. I I can just see Vince McMahon trying to pitch it to the rest of the board. <laughs> <laughs> we have to push April Fools for WrestleMania. Okay, so. Batista, the animal, versus The Undertaker. Batista, incidentally, who just quit. I thought he just came back. Yeah, he did. He came back in January. And then he just quit? And he was supposed to stay... Yeah. He was supposed to stay through up to the release of Guardians of the Galaxy. He quit because uh, of creative conflicts. Oh, okay. Uh, so, as as I was saying for the Royal Rumble, he came back, his official big match debut was for the Royal Rumble, where he comes back and wins it over a bunch of fan favorites, including CM Punk, Daniel Bryan, Roman Reigns of The Shield, uh, and uh, even Bray Wyatt, who was at the time just like a, a mid rising star mid-card villain. Uh, he comes and... Uh, very clearly, the WWE's direction for WrestleMania 30 was Batista versus Randy Orton. Okay. Which everybody hated because Randy Orton had been the champion for like almost a. No, not even a year. Maybe like eight months. And like the fans were sick to death of Pretty Randy cool. Orton as the champion. Okay. And Batista uh, actually came back and was performing very poorly because it looked like he wasn't keeping in shape. Okay. Uh, that decadent anyways, Hollywood he was... lifestyle. What's that? That decadent Hollywood lifestyle. Yes. Uh, so last night he quit in a hilarious fashion. Uh, at yesterday, no, the day before yesterday's payback, uh, he came out with Evolution. Everybody in Evolution was right. wearing the dead man. black... Was this, was this yes. when he like re, when he returned to the dead man gimmick? Yes, I, had, I believe so. He, like he yeah he he had this period where he was like this like like outlaw biker or whatever. Yeah, the the American badass, uh, popularly called the biker taker. Yeah. Or just the American badass. And so this I, yeah and this was I believe his return to the dead man gimmick, wasn't it? Yes, I think so. He's got his druids and everything. Yep. The torches, which is a, a cool, a cool gimmick. I like it a lot. The fog machine, the slow walk. His entrance is always going to be my favorite. Yeah, me too. Ever since I was a kid, he was sort of... Uh, yeah, it just does not have the same sting without the music, though. <laughs> it yeah. just seems a little weird. Um... <laughs> sing it in Paul Bearer's voice. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, shit. Okay, where was what was oh, I saying? <laughs> oh yeah. Um, Batista, Triple H, and Randy Orton come out. Triple H and Randy Orton just wearing the regular black trunks, you know, like Batista is wearing now. Uh, but Batista comes out in periwinkle blue trunks, arm guards, and leg warmers. I can't see Batista. You just look it up. No, I, I mean, I don't, I'm not saying I don't, I'm not saying I don't believe you. I'm just saying it seems ill-advised. No, I know it looked terrible. The number one world trending uh, thing when that happened, it was not uh, WWE Payback. It was not the Shield versus Evolution. It was hashtag Blue Tista. <laughs> Blue Tista. 
<laughs> Nobody could get over it. And, uh, yeah, it was... Also, some, uh, some, some matches we're not get from, uh, WrestleMania 23 we won't be seeing tonight. Uh, the Great Khali versus Kane. Oh, great. Bobby Lashley with Donald Trump versus Umaga with Vince McMahon. <laughs> Okay, so one of the objectives here is to do the Dead Man's Dive, where the Undertaker dives out of the ring. So with a finisher, I'm going oh. to have to grab my opponent. And Chris lean Benoit them on versus the Mont uh, and, and Chris Benoit versus MVP. Oh. Okay, so you're gonna have to tell me: Does uh, does Kali um beat Kane? Uh, yes, he did. Yeah. Uh, OSW points it out. Uh, Kane has like the opposite effect. Old school effect. wrestling review for those of you who aren't. Familiar. What's that? Old, old, that's old school wrestling review. Oh yeah. 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 Kane has like the opposite of the Undertaker streak. Like oh, he yeah. loses a lot at WrestleMania, and it's really weird because he's normally billed as a very strong, very frightening opponent. Well, maybe, well, maybe now he's gonna start. Maybe now he'll start winning. Maybe. Maybe it's like maybe it's like only one only one of the two brothers can be successful at WrestleMania at a time, and now, the, now whatever dark energies let Undertaker keep winning will now pass to him. <laughs> but probably not. No. All right. Now, what's your first objective here? Uh, is to perform the last ride. Now was that like was that that is that like what became like his finisher when he started the uh, the biker gimmick? Yeah, it's just a power bomb. Okay. It's a good, good, it's cool, cool name for it. Yeah, and it actually it, it, it actually, does and, fit. And, and and it still and even when he went back to the you know like the dead man gimmick, it still it still fit, it still works. Now, who is Dave Bautista playing in Guardians of the Galaxy? Um. Shit. God damn it. I should have read the uh, instructions better. I can't remember how to uh, lean him against the ropes. Uh, he's playing the guy with the knives. He's... Uh, You'll have to look it up, honestly. <laughs> I don't know I Guardians of the you. Galaxy well enough to. Fuck. Okay, I'm gonna have to break Keith <laughs> again. God damn it. Peek behind the uh, curtain here. Tag team. Oh god damn it. Opponent repositioning. Wow. Uh Oh my god. Abilities list. Maybe it's this. Outside dive. WrestleMania okay. 23 also had not one but two lumberjack matches. Huh. Really? Yeah. Um. One was actually a tag team match. Ric Flair and Carlito versus Gregory Helms and Chava Guerrero. That was actually, that was actually the dark match they kicked off with, so you didn't see that on television. And then uh, Molina versus Ashley for the women's championship. Well, I fucked up. Cool, cool if you would get a crowd figures. chant like that. What? You fucked up. You fucked up. <laughs> or was that more of an ECW yeah. thing? Oh, no, they still do it. Okay. They definitely do it. Okay, I need to put. Oh, gave him the last ride again by accident. God damn it! <laughs> John is enjoying my fucking up of this game. <laughs> um, no, they definitely do. You fucked up. They do it all the time. Okay. There we go. Oof. 
That's that's like a DDT, right? Kinda looks like it. Ow! What the hell? Something wrong? It it should have fulfilled my goal. Did it? No, it did not. I have to hit him with the dive, but I guess that was not the dive. It was just the uh, OMG tackle or OMG move. It's dumb. I've never heard a single wrestling fan refer to anything as an OMG anything. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> Is the Undertaker streak going to be broken tonight, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Historically. <laughs> And the, then the timeline will just go careening completely off the rails. Oh, absolutely. God damn it. God damn it. We're never going to be able to inaugurate the, the PG era of pointless side quests if you keep cursing like that, Nick. I know. <laughs> how, how are we going to get Snickers to sponsor us? I should have read the controls better. <laughs> I, I thought dare I say had you should it. Should have, yes. <laughs> I can restart this match. You know what? I'm just gonna do that <laughs> because this is because the the dive is actually really cool, and I don't want to not see it. <laughs> Nick, Nick is tapping out, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh fuck! I don't get to not see this. Son of a bitch! Wait, what's wrong? <laughs> the prompt is supposed to pop up. I have to lose. <laughs> or quit. I'm gonna quit. <laughs> <sighs> Alright. She ignore the man behind the curtain. Is there any chance you will cut any of this? Very little. <laughs> Very little. Great. Super. Okay. So this is for the World Heavyweight Championship. Now we step, I step can't into another timeline, hopefully one more like our own, where Undertaker will actually win. Okay. With a finisher, grapple your opponent, hold L2 and R2, and move L towards the ropes inside the ring to force your opponent into a rope-leaning state. Press triangle to form the Dead Man's Dive OMG. Uh, okay, with a finisher, grapple my opponent, and hold, okay, do I have to put, I guess I have to put him in a, some sort of grapple lock. <laughs> the sort of thrills you can only get at Wrestlemania, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, he dived out of the way, god damn it. There we go. Yes, next time I have the urge to swear, I'll, I'll just, uh, say... Uh, Think of all that sweet Snickers money that could could be rolling in, Nick. Yes. Baloney ham and mustard. The internet is ruining my life. Uh, Don't get that reference? I do not. Uh, that That is a quote from John Cena. I'm... I'm... Uh, <laughs> I'm only slightly less confused than before, Nick. <laughs> um, there's a brief era during which Raw the had no general manager. WWE? And so they were instead controlled by a computer. Supposedly a computer that um, just sent automatic updates okay. on who would face who. Okay. This kind of rings a bell. And so... Yeah, during this time, like John Cena would be like, "I want, like, I want to do this because the Nexus are ruining my life," and then the computer would beep, and then uh, um, Michael Cole would read the email aloud, usually to the effect of, "No, John Cena, you can't do this thing you want to do." And then um, there, this was like during the era when, um, like, they were really unsure of how far they could push. During their PG rating. Okay. 
and so John Cena like was not even saying anything remotely bad. And so he said like so when the com- like the computer tells him like he can't do this thing, and so he yells, uh, "Bologna, ham, and mustard! The internet is ruining my life. I haven't been this mad since my mom canceled my subscription to Warcraft." <laughs> It's very strange. Wouldn't John Cena have been well into adulthood by the time World of Warcraft existed? Uh, yes. No, I'm just trying to move him! Okay, grapple. Oh! I don't know what's wrong with me. No one does. It's not in its entirety. You know, it seems like if I, I you said like the game doesn't allow you to knock over the ref unless it's like a scripted thing, right? Yeah, <laughs> I, I I can hit him, but it's it's point. harder for me to do. Because it seems like the ref is the ref in some of these matches having a lot of like close calls. Yeah. That I gotta think like would have been like him getting hit if he wasn't like you know. I mean, he's programmed to just sprint <laughs> out of the way. I think he's given highest priority on moving. Come on, just. So let me put you on the ropes. I hate you. I hate the fans you like. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I I got it right. Like, uh, okay, okay. Have to move. Wait for him to lean. There we go. No, son of a bitch. Fuck everything. <laughs> Don't I have a finisher stored up? Where'd that go? I didn't hit it. Uh, okay. Man. I don't know how the Undertaker streak lasted as long as it did with performances like this. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Such a lackluster performance. Just so terrible. Like, he just literally doesn't know how to do moves and... <laughs> He's just forgetting his own move sets. <laughs> How do I choke slam? All right, now can you do yeah, I swear to God, I had the fucking <laughs> no, because they don't have a finisher. You have to build up heat to get get that, or yeah. Okay, this should be a choke slam. Okay, thank you. Yeah. I'm a... Oh. Like now I have a finisher stored up. God damn it, that's not what I'm meaning to do. Okay. Opponent stunned. Throat cut, ge- throat cut gesture there? Yeah. This is just a sleeper hold. Whatever. Man, he's really bending him back. Yeah. Yeah, the throw cut I thought was always the Undertaker's. I know Benoit used it, but... But if, I seem to remember the Undertaker doing it for a long time, too. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. You know what? That that DDT I did was pretty cool. And if that's all I can do, I will do that instead. Not going to go for the full historical objectives? I'm trying, but I don't remember. And I've done this before! I'm just getting so mad. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I really don't. See, this is not even the first finisher that's disappeared. I've lost that other one. Oh, it's yeah. just gone. Oh, there you go. Yeah, here's the last ride. But I had another finisher stored up. Well, I think you still do. You got that F icon. Yeah, but I had more than one. Oh, okay. Nick, I think we may need to send you back to OVW for a while. 
Probably. More developmental time. Although I guess it's that not. Got, oh, it's not the. It's although that the got, that, I guess that got absorbed into NXT. So I'm that yeah. I'll go into NXT. What's funny is that NXT started out as a reality show. It was not at all a wrestling what? show. How did this happen? Uh, it just began as a as a like reality show, what, like because they like wanted to find a strong personality. Like wrestling themed reality show. Yeah. Okay. And so they had like. Uh, Hold on a second. Okay. Cat-related business. No worries. <laughs> Did I miss anything? Uh, I tombstoned him and got the pin. Oh, okay. Because I'm just, I'm just tired of looking so incompetent. Just mercy kill that match. <laughs> Basically. It was mostly right. I just did it like a dead man DDT instead. <sighs> um, well, what was your question? I can't remember oh, what oh, I was what, saying. What was the deal with this WWE reality show that somehow became a developmental? Oh show? yeah. So was it season one, it was like mostly not wrestling themed. Actually, they did have matches, but like they weren't like re that wasn't the focus. Like especially the divas. The divas all like answered like beauty pageant questions. It was really strange. Oh. Um. It was a reality show Molly where the Holly, winner of the reality show would, would get a WWE contract. 